Okay, so is this the guy? No, this is not the guy. Hi there. What's your name? How's it going? Name's Fox, and I'm with the good guys. We're gonna take back Atlas from those Legion punks. Skitter tusks are powerful enough to burrow through solid rock, but they're also quite skittish. Hence their name. Try your best to get some bioscans of them. I'm all over it. Good then. Retrieve the analyzer to get started. Gotcha. Okay, so I gotta find a skitter tusk thing. Where the heck a doodle is a skitter tusk? I'm just gonna wander around until I figure out what the heck a skitter tusk is. I don't see anything that looks vaguely animal like. I see a lot of other stuff. So whatever whatever this is. Oh, Quillheart pellets. Okay, we want we want bio stuff. You will need to retrieve the analyzer to complete the mission. Now do we yeah that is a krill heart pellet. They can't digest the bones of their prey, so they like puke them up. Ugh, ew. I don't like that character. I think of the entire game, he's gonna be one of the only characters that I'm gonna be like, uh about. Okay, so seriously, where are these things? I was really hoping it would give me like a marker towards one of them, because I don't even know what this thing is. Skitter tusk. I guess let's just go around until we find something that is moving on the surface. Well, I see enemies. Uh, please stop attacking me! Uh oh, this ain't looking good for you. Are you dead? You're dead. Okay. So don't go for the researcher. Oops. Hey you, come here. Let's dance. Dancing pretty hard. We've tracked some outlaws to their hideout. Your map's been updated. Neat. Can I can I talk to any of these people? No, of course not. Maybe if you put down the scanner, it'll direct you. Be advised. You will need to retrieve the analyzer to complete the mission. Nope, it just tells That's what I'm after. It just tells me that I I need to have it. Unfortunately, I, I straight up have no idea where the, where these things are, what they even look like. So I'm just going to I guess keep aimlessly wandering until we find like any living creature that is also moving. Because that's probably going to be it. There's not a whole lot of biodiversity on these planets. No, those are birds. <sighs> or bats? I don't know. That's probably not the thing. Assuming this ain't it either. Combat zone, if I want to fight some more shielded cyclopses. Analysis. The Nova may be more easily dislodged if targeted with heat weaponry. Nothing on you. Okay. Still no critter. We'll, we'll come back to a lot of these at a later date. Uh, I don't see a single creature. I heard it. I heard a noise, but I, I guess not. Inventory is still full of this, this stuff. Ah. Uh, so yeah, effectively, I guess I'm just supposed to wander around. Wait, follow the white blurry dots on the. Oh shit! I see them. There's a approaching analysis target. Skitter tusk. 
I see them now. They're they're a little like uh hoofprint things. You found one. Good. Get scanning. Ow. Nope, that's not it. Oh, collect data. Oh, I see. Ha. Huh. Fantastic. On to the next specimen. Okay. I would I actually wish they had tutorialized this a little bit better. You know, just like a very basic mission to handhold your way through it. It's not so bad once you know what you're doing, but that initial bit was just like, what am, what am I doing? Complete. Okay, so animals actually show up on the mini-map ring. I didn't even notice that at first. But yeah, they show up on the map and the mini-map ring. And you are... Well, you're not the target? Can I not? Wow. What's about? Okay. I'm just gonna scan whatever one of these things are. You really think that you you wouldn't need like a full tool for for scanning cre Oh god. Where am I? What am I doing? Where am I going? I don't even I might no, I'm not on top of them. I'd, I already scanned you. What about you? I haven't scanned you yet. Seeing as I've got a analysis scanner, I might as well just scan everything that I've got immediately available. Okay, I think we've got another set over this direction. Luckily, these things don't seem to care too much when you just ram, ram right into them. They certainly didn't care when I shot them. Okay, and I'm assuming... This one's called a quill heart. Apparently, it's an apex predator on this world. I like it. They're a lot easier to scan than I thought. Okay, so once, you, once you've scanned it for the Starlink first time... Starlink database updated. Once you've scanned it for the first time, uh, you pretty much don't have to scan it again. Neat. Oh, right. Too happy to fly with carried object. Oh, no. Well, I give it to the Vortex thing, it's real good at destroying any and every box in the immediate area. Okay, is that a... no. I think I already scanned this sucker too. Well, I don't even need to. You can always scan the creature you only need for the analysis scanner thing. Yeah, but I figured I might as well scan all of them so I at least knew what they were-ish. I don't know. Yeah, let's just fly around until we see some more uh, hoof prints on the map. I think I see. I think I see some coming up. There we go. Ah, it's just more cool hearts. Target. Skitter tusk. There it is. He is a beetle on a mission. Excellent. Bring the analyzer back and I can start combing through that data. Okay, and we're good to go. Bye! So yeah, took a little bit to understand that side mission. Now I got it. I think these are all repeatable and probably not as interesting. But like, yeah. I mean, side, I don't know, repeatable missions aren't so bad. Gives you something to do if you need to grind. It's better than just going off to kill a bunch of enemies over and over and over again. That part always bugs me a little bit. Let's see, can you kill it? I don't think so. From my experience, they, they have been distinctly unkillable. At least uh, when I was trying to shoot one of the creatures in the other area. Now you can repeatedly scan creatures to get more info. You can repeatedly scan creatures that you've already scanned for more EXP. Which, like... It's fine, but I can also just go fight things for more EXP and explore and play the game and instead of... whoops. Instead of just, uh... wasting my... Uh, instead of wasting my time scanning creatures over and over again, I'm carrying this thing around. 
It's mainly I just don't, I don't want to carry this this thing around for too long. Hello. Observatory is under fire. Someone help! I'm not a threat. Hold your fire, please. It seems like I might be able to That's attack. It. I won't let you bully me any longer. I. Wait, they're attacking me? What? Wait, come back! We're defenseless without you! I. But I got it. Oh, I didn't get it. Okay. I think part of it is I gotta stop using the Vortex Missiles. I love the Vortex Missiles, but it seems like it pisses everything, uh, everything off really, really badly. Under fire. Someone help. So instead, we'll just... Ship efficiency improved. We'll just go with the, uh, the obvious one. Oh, we leveled up. Cool. A fearsome display, friend. Thank you for your help. But yeah, it's, it's the Vortexes. So the Vortexes will hit everyone. Me, enemies, them, doesn't matter. Uh, they'll, they will hit and kill every single living being in the immediate area. And that uh, isn't so popular with the creatures. Anyway, so, wait, what? Oh, Starlink. Always a pleasure. How do I turn to the mission? Do I have to be over here? No? Or maybe I have to deliver the item. Ah! Excellent. This data will hopefully explain how Skitter Tusks are able to navigate underground. I'll need help if we're going to get these beacons where they need to go. I've got a spot in mind. Can you deliver this one for me? I'm on it. Great. I've marked its location for you. Pick it up so we can deploy it in a better place. There you are. So yeah, it looks like we just have a bunch of randomized side side quests that we can do. You know, deliver a beacon, scan some critters, fight some things. That's not so bad. I'm probably not going to do them that often. Ooh, we should probably go fight that tower thing. And then we should probably go back to doing plot. Because I, I, I'm actually enjoying just... This location seems ideal. Flying around the world and doing whatever. Anywhere near here. Uh, place it here. No, that didn't work. How do I? How do I place it? Does one up? He said I could put it wherever. No? Okay, I'm confused. He said place. Starbox, form up on me. About time. The tower is online and functional. Check your star map to see the increase in vision it provides. And if you see any other undeployed towers, feel free to set them up too. You got it. Yes! Fox one, bad guy zero. Okay, is he still there? I actually have no idea where Foco is. Oh yeah, he's helping. Cool. And he's gone. Bye, Falco. Hopefully I get to extend the duration on that one considerably. Because it is uh, sure, it is short. So that's how you expand your planetary, ma planetary map. Yeah, looks like it. I like that. Extractor node down. Okay, do we have another extractor node? Oh, there it is. Okay. It'd probably be better to actually flip in the Vortex missiles at this point. Uh, actually... Switch out the Frost missile, missile Barrage. These things are weak to fire, yeah? Ah, balls. Yeah, since we don't have to worry about uh, friendly fire here, I can go nuts. 
I can just roasty toasty these guys freely. It's mainly a problem when I've got uh, friendlies nearby. They don't like the uh, vortex. It's also a serious problem in space, though a serious help in space as well. It's too high. <laughs> Sorry, I uh, I don't know. I've just been kind of dry, uh, dry throated today. I don't know why. Die! Oh, he's outside of the vortex, and it's just eating all my. Uh, it's just eating all my shots. Okay, and there's the. There's the extractor note. If I just put put it in just a, a fire fire vortex, yeah, that'll wreck it quick. I gotta watch what these guys do like this this earth earth nova. Okay, we good? Time to do some damage. Burn, baby, burn. Got it. I really hope we get to extend the uh, the the summon friend button so it lasts longer. I'll have to see if I can do that. Oh, right, gotta pluck it. Cause it would be really satisfying to have like uh, them last for like a minute or two instead. Mainly just for the full duration of that song. That's really the only thing I actually care care about hearing or hearing. Like, it's nice having the companion character. But mainly, I just want to listen to the full length of the song. As opposed to the, like, weirdly curtailed version. Because I like that song. Someday, maybe I'll, uh, I'll figure out how to hook up some of the old, like, Star Fox games. Start with 64. Uh, maybe play Adventure if I can. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if there would be an easy way to do it. I would love it if they actually just did an HD re-release. I doubt they'll ever do it though, unfortunately. So I'd like to see the elemental uh, combo of Vortex and Stasis. I actually don't think the Vortex and Stasis have Vortex and Stasis have a uh, combo. I was trying it earlier and it didn't seem like it had it. It didn't seem like it had anything. Oh, that's a different observatory. So there are multiple observatories around here. Is this No Man's Sky? This is... I... I'm gonna say probably better. It has a lot of the same elements, but it's short. That's a giant ship taking off and flying away. That's really cool looking. Okay. We gotta get rid of the nullifier. It is going to cause problems. Let's do hailstorm. Our observatory is under fire. Someone help! Okay, maybe I should maybe I should do frost missiles. Those frost missiles are goofy strong comparatively. <laughs> you like that? I was able to track those outlaws to their hideout. Maybe we should pay them a visit. We should actually... Yeah, let's give that a go. Uh, I'm gonna talk to the observatory for obvious reasons. Ready to go. Leading hostels in the area. Nice work. Thanks for stopping by. Finally, an intelligent being was beginning to think there weren't any on this world. Oh. I guess I can just turn that in. Okay, so this is... I don't even know what this is. Offer I've help. identified a shipping container nearby that's throwing out crazy energy readings. I suspect some corrupt Nova's grown out of control in that area. I'm willing to bet you're the only one who can get it open. I'm on it. Okay, good luck. I hope your tech can help you succeed where my scientists couldn't. Okay, so we got a couple of things. For starters, so we're here at this observatory. What is this? I have no idea. What is this? Imp hive. So that's the hundred heads that we've been to. And there is there is the silent sentinel over here. Oh, and the refinery. What the this place is covered in scanning. Scanning locations. Okay, well let's let's just do this quest real quick. 
Because everything is really, really fast. Let's see. Got some of the resources you need to do. Heat's oh. rising in your area, so you'll want to use cold weapons. Let's see. Uh, I got some of the resources to upgrade the Equinox a bit. Yep. I'll work on that in a bit. I'm satisfied just kind of wandering around and just gathering resources for a bit. Because there is a, uh, there's a lot of stuff to do. And I don't mind doing it. How is this? Where are you? Oh. Thank you, friend. I would have been fauna fertilizer without your help. That was weird. Okay, so there was a there's a scientist there that apparently needed defending, but they were just booking it, so I guess I just defended them. Sweet! I'm helpful. Okay, and there's treasure chests on the map. There's a bunch of stuff. There's so much stuff to do. Okay, so we wanted to use a stone ice. beehive. The honey inside those things is apparently dynamite. I'd love to try some. Oh, we might as well blast our way in. I mean, for the most part, it just seems like uh, for the most part, it seems like we can just kind of do whatever we want. Is this the game that comes with a physical ship that you have to build? Yes and no. So you don't actually have to. You don't actually have to build the uh, the physical ship. It is. Uh, it is entirely optional on whether or not you want to build the thing. Because uh, you can actually just get the digital version. And the digital version actually is cheaper. Because it just comes with all the stuff. Which I really like. Because yeah, I didn't want to... I didn't want to spend like a hundred bucks buying a bunch of toys just to be able to play this game fully. Instead, I guess you just get the digital deluxe and it just gives you everything. Okay. We want to get you. Well then, oh. Fascinating. I hope you can make use of what you found. So with now, the gravity cache we found earlier. On my scanner anymore either. Win win. Hey, it's what I do. So with the gravity cache up in space that I found earlier, I probably had to use stasis on it. You know, whatever the op opposite was. Makes sense. Oh, we might, we might as well pluck a couple of these. While we're here. This would have been such a beautiful game to play as a kid. Okay. Now, it looks like they might be... Pinging us? I'm not entirely sure it had like red pings coming off of it. I wonder if it's gonna get attacked. Are the quests actually could or the Ubisofted? Hey there, I'm reading an excess of organics in your cargo hold. We'll take them off your hands. I mean, the side quests are boring. They're they're straight up just Oh hello. Don't mind me just laboring away at the forefront of galactic discovery. They're just the the generic like fetch quest, go off, do a thing, rinse, repeat. Okay, so we can't do the warden cipher. Weapon engineering. Okay, so that's an extra mod slot. Mod fusions. Three common or uncommon mods to make one that's more powerful. Ooh. Okay, that might be interesting. Freight and cargo. Easier to pluck objects. Star map to fast travel to any solved warden spire. Okay, we're going to have to... Oh, I see. Solve more warden puzzles to unlock this upgrade. Expedition wing. So, reveal the location of all runes from the Atlas Electrum Rush era. Interesting. More money from Allied pros Prospector Refineries. Select a defeated outlaw base on the star, star map to fast travel to it. Interesting. Let's grab the Mod Foundry first. I think that's more interesting. Okay, an epic fusion is right out. Why don't we do... Why don't we do that one? I don't even know what the second character is. 
Okay. So we want to grab prospector stuff, because that might just give me constant money. I guess let's head for the observatories. Because it looks like uh, unlocking each one of these observatories is going to fill in the map for me. But yeah, I wouldn't mind Ubisoft making the next Star Fox game from what I saw in their 15-minute demo. Yeah, I this is really close to what I would want another Star Fox game to be. I would actually love to see a return to oh shoot, what was the what was the the Star Fox game for the GameCube that was that was kind of the mix between a third-person shooter and actual like true blue Star Fox game? I always forget the name of that one. Because like. I would actually love to play a game that's, that really is kind of that mix. Mostly flying, but a little bit of oh, wandering around. Who are you? Not adventure, hey, it's the other one. I'm Fox. Wondering if you can help me out here. Assault, there we go. Sunstrider feathers are prized for their iridescent beauty. I'm more interested in studying how their tail plumage functions as a stabilizer while they run at high speeds. I'm all over it. I've set up an analyzer for you. Pick it up and we'll start. Gotcha. Yeah, so this is... So a lot of the side quests are going to be really boring. I might do a lot of these, like, scan ones. Uh... Or... I might actually work on a number of these things, like, off... Off stream or off camera. Or maybe I'll, I'll do them on stream, on camera. I think this will be the last one I, I do from this set. Actually, screw it. Let's cancel mission. I don't want to do this one. We'll do it later. What I want to look for is this thing. Prospector Observatory. I, I want to try every observatory just to, just to see what, like, uh, what the differences are. Because I'd love to get all the scanners going, but that's going to take a while. And I want to make a little bit more progress in the actual, like, uh, gameplay. I got him. I, like, I want to make some plot progress here. I also... are you ally? No. It's this guy. Those eject pods aren't exactly stealthy. I was able to follow their movements back to their base of operations. Okay. So we don't want to pick up the energy cell, do we? Brain Legion. Oh, that's interesting. So you can use that to, like, drain health or something. Okay, so how do we how do we interact with one of these suckers? Or do we find the miner here? It's maybe this guy. Just on my way to collect some old wreckage. It's the only way we keep these junkers in work in order. If you find some, bring it by the refinery. How what? How do I interact with this thing? Oh, I guess it's telling me to go to the Arbor Refinery, so I, I guess let's head for the Arbor one. Let's see, so who do you play as in the PC version of Star Fox's Switch exclusive? Uh, there's other characters. All of the human characters that you've seen in the cutscenes. Looks like a refinery to me. Yeah, so I guess we just had to uh, learn how to uh, refinery with the main quest. There we go. Hold it right there. You're on private property. Move along before you make another mistake. Easy now. I just want to talk. Shade sent me. Shade? That meter never listened to a word I said. Doesn't surprise me. Look, I just got a couple of questions and I'll be out of your hair. Huh? Here's the deal. I ain't in the business of being made a fool. You want me to play along? You're gonna have to make it worth my while. My refinery's been combing the area for minerals, but there's a couple of types we're still missing. You scare up a rare one for me. Maybe we talk. No sweat. Dude, that's awesome! Another alien, bro! For the win! Just remember why we're here. Friends are good. Information is better. Okay, so what's this? Impive. Nah. I'll do impives later. Like, I don't, I don't mind doing a bunch of side objectives, but I should be, I really should be focused on, um... I really should be focused on... 
All right, you're looking for a shiny rock about half the size of your ship. Chip off a chunk and bring it on back. There we go. Hey, knock it off. There you are. As we'll just mow through these guys. Nope, he ain't dead yet. Now you're dead. Okay, what else is there? There's other stuff. Oh, inventory is full. Right. Because we still can't turn these things in yet. Let's see. I will say I don't know if there's going to be a uh oops. I don't know I don't actually know if there's going to be a uh a PC version of this. I know there's a uh there's console versions. Uh, but I don't think there's going to be a PC version because it'd be harder for them to to keep like a a hold of the uh, the I guess the if if they had a PC version piracy piracy and also like you could totally skip the cash up system you could you could just hack in and give yourself the weapons and I think they want to keep it under lock and key so people feel tempted to buy the uh, the physical. Uh, products instead, which sucks a little bit, but I understand why they're doing it. Okay, here we go. Nope. Here we go. Live right, um. Starlink database updated. That'll do. Tell you what, this refinery churns out electrum by the bucket. Since you did me a favor, I'll throw some of that electrum your way from time to time. All right, let's talk. You want to know about the underground, the gears running beneath our boots, our feathered foes behind the masks? Something like that. I'm helping some friends locate their captain. He was captured. Whoever's controlling the Legion, we think they did it. Doubt it. Grax doesn't like to show his face. So that's his name, huh? Was he the punk who sent those drakes? Drakes are his eyes and ears. He wouldn't have come himself unless they spotted something real pretty. Seems you piqued his interest. Why don't you help us both out and see for yourself? Okay, deliver items. Yes. All this random junk I picked up. The Legion Drake crashed here not too long ago. You hacked that core of his, and that'll give you an idea about how the Legion and Grax talk. Just let me know what you find. I'm on it. <laughs> 